As a very creative person who requires an outlet for expression, content creation has been an amazing way for me to grow and learn in so many areas. I find this industry to be endless and exciting. In this video, I'll be discussing my day-to-day -day life as a content creator. I'll go over equipment, editing software, what I use to find copyright-free music, and how I structure my scripts, why I love what I do so much, and more. a different day for content creation. If I'm not filming one day, then I'm editing the next. And if I'm not doing that for myself, I am doing that for a digital media internship where I film and edit for a YouTuber here in Austin. She does a lot of DIY projects and party planning, so I get to help out a lot. I also love helping other people with their projects and encouraging others who are interested in going into the entertainment or digital media industry. One of the best tips that I can give is if you are a creative person and you have a lot of ideas in your mind, you are made to be creative for a reason. The most important step is to just start now. This was one of the things that was holding me back because for a while I was waiting for me to get out of college, for me to get out of this job. For me, I was just waiting for like the perfect time and the truth is there never is going to be a perfect time. There's always going to be something and that's why you should start now. There's this quote that says if you can't run, then walk and if you can't walk, then crawl and if you can't crawl, then uh, just do your best and that's just something that I have in my mind all the time. Pro is the winner for me when it comes to editing software for YouTube. I know Premiere Pro is the industry standard and it's something that I definitely want to know more about in the future but as of right now I love the layout of Final Cut Pro, I love editing with Final Cut Pro, I have keyboard shortcuts installed to allow me to edit faster and more smoother. This big boy is my camera I got when I was 12 years old, the Canon T3i that has survived many droppings from the upstairs balcony. And it's still working great, but my current camera is the Canon G7X Mark II. Although this camera is great for when I'm vlogging, I'm interested in more cinematic videography, so I'm using the Sony a6600. That's exactly how I perceive the Sony a6600. It's a badass camera, it's everything that I want, everything that I need. Unfortunately, it is not my camera, it is my brother's and he is just nice enough to lend it to me when he's not using it so that I can play with it and learn from it until I save up for my own camera. But to be clear, if you're interested in starting in this industry, you do not need all this expensive camera equipment to start. I started with my phone and the dinosaur Canon T3i camera. And I still use my phone to record out in public because I find that it's more low key and I'm still uncomfortable with going out in public with all my camera equipment. I wanted to briefly talk about scripts because it is a very important step in the content creation process and should always be the first step. I mainly use it to plan out the sections in my video. I write down the main general topics I want to talk about, then I put bullet points below each topic just to get into more details. It really helps me to stay on track and focused when I'm explaining my videos so the process goes smooth. I don't script my videos to be exact to what I'm saying. I mainly just put general notes and I usually just go from there. The reason why I always come back to content creation after every single time I've stopped 
or quit is because it's the perfect type of expression for my needs as a creator and I get to be the creative director for my own channel. I get to be the videographer, the producer, the editor, and more. And that's a love that always just brings me back to it. Also, seeing my journey from where I started to now, there has been extreme improvement in my editing strategy, in my filmmaking, and just by going back and seeing that, it's almost like addicting because I see myself getting better and I want to do more and I want to keep getting better because I love it. It's almost to prove to myself that I can do it and I'm showing myself that I am more than capable of doing these things. In the past, I have given up many, many times because I would get frustrated with like technology issues that I couldn't figure out or I couldn't figure out how to edit something a certain way. I was still in the learning process and I didn't have the right mindset to be patient with myself because this is a constant learning type of thing. I kept coming back to it because I was always drawn to content creation and filmmaking and editing and all of that just seemed so cool to me. And it did take a, a while for me to quit, fall, get back into it, get better and each time change the process, change my mindset and change the goals each time going in. This most recent time has been my most successful because I went into it with a whole completely different mindset. One where I believe in myself and I hold confidence to do so. One where I don't give myself strangling deadlines where it immediately starts making me feel overwhelmed and burnt out before I even get one video out. One where I'm patient with myself and I trust the process. I do content creation because I love creating and I love inspiring other people and helping them. If I inspire just one person with one of my videos, then that's me feeling complete and successful because I did my job and that's what I'm here for. Some challenges with content creation is not being able to manage all of the things that I'm doing in my life. Um, I feel like I have so many things going on that I can't put my full focus on YouTube as much as I'd like. And that's one of the things that I have to be patient with myself. I've been learning about time management, putting things on my plate without overwhelming myself. And that's been sort of difficult for me because I want to do all these things. And it's a nice problem to have, I guess. Um, I'm very like creative. I want to try so many things. I want to finish college. I want to and there's just so many things that go into each one of those things. Learning how to manage my time has been one of the most important things for me and also checking in with myself to make sure that I'm happy and healthy and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. If y'all want me to go into more detail with content creation when it comes to editing, how I edit, how I use epidemic sound, how I specifically write my scripts, any questions at all please let me know down in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Stay tuned for the next video.